Hey guys, Matt here. So I'm going out of town next week on business, so I figured right now I might as well get the portfolio update out of the way just to show you guys how well I'm doing. And we are doing very, very well. Even though the market pulled back with the rate cut for some reason, I imagine I imagine that'll correct tomorrow, but we are looking very, very good. We are at $153,190. We're at $46,000. $46,800 in the green, and we are up 44.1%. That is phenomenal. I'm sure, you saw, I'm sure you saw my post in the community tab. I am absolutely destroying the S&P 500 by the year. So we are doing very, very well. AT&T, I mean, you will recall AT&T is a, I mean, I've been historically down on that stock by a lot. And for me to be 14.6 in the green is absolutely, I mean, I, I did not expect it. I, I expected to go even at some, at some point to be, but to be this much in the green, we're looking good. Uh, Verizon, which was, we'll get to, don't worry, we'll get to Gvo in a second. Verizon, we are entered upon break even. For a dividend stock, I'll take it. I'm very happy. Now, as you, if you guys may or may not know, uh, about a year, year or so ago, I completely changed my strategy. I don't invest in crap companies. I try not to voice penny stocks. Jivo is the last penny stock I will ever invest in, and it's not my. It's, it is, but is my least favorite stock in my portfolio. Right now, I invest in in, in strong companies with long histories of, of success, and then you wait, and then a couple ETFs. And so far, it is doing very, very. It's doing wonders for my portfolio. Now, since all my stocks are up. I mean, I am running into a good problem, which is where do I put my money? Now, an obvious choice would be Jivo, but I'm not quite I'm not quite ready to put more money into in Jivo just yet. Let me explain why. So Jivo is sitting at a negative 61%, which for my portfolio, for I mean, you've you've watched it over a period of time. That's better than it's been in a year. And yeah, Jivo is I think it's it's on the high part of its 52 week, which is kind of sad, but it is where it is. My problem with Jivo is that and, and this isn't even a question is it has a hard time following through on stuff now we also have the recent news about the you know us granting jivo a patent which is fantastic and more importantly the uh, the acquisition of red trail there was a lot of things reported potentially uh adjusted ebitda positive in 2025 that's what's that's expected uh, co combined with Verity and other businesses or whatever. Ethanol being very conducive to SAF, which is a good thing, and also a potential site for another uh, net zero plant. All these are good things if Jivo follows through on it. Keep in mind, this is the first bit of good news. This and this. I mean, these are the first bits of, of good news materially in about two years. Before that, it was nothing except for Jivo continually punning, punning uh, net zero one to the next year, next year, next year. And Assuming the DOE loan completes at the end of this year and doesn't get kicked back again, hopefully net zero doesn't get, you know, delayed again. And that's my problem is that Jibo has had a historically uh, has had a problem following through. And so in order for me to drink the Kool-Aid on this and be comfortable buying more more shares of this, I mean, having the wanted to take the more more risk tolerance. I need to see Jivo follow through on this. I need to see some earnings come out, and I need to see this, this reflected in the and the revenue, and hopefully some better, um, hopefully some closer to uh, break even on net income, or at least uh, adjusted EBITDA. Until then, my plans for the for Jivo have not changed. Hold until 2025. See where we are. And as far as all my other stocks, I, I mean, I. Like I said, good problem to have. I don't know where to put my money. So right now I'm hoarding cash and waiting for a weakness and one of my stocks that actually, you know, not Jivo yet, one, one of my stocks that actually has promise. And then once I see some, I'll I'll start redeploying back in the market. But for now, I'm just sitting back and watching. But anyways, take care. Have a great day and eat your vegetables.